The success of this team is really measured by the amount that we learn. You have to fail fast and learn faster. We're not here to just make a fast car. We're here to innovate and to push ourselves. So Spartan Racing Electric is founded in the Silicon Valley. We're a competitive racing team and we build an electric vehicle and we compete in the Formus Society of Automotive Engineers. In the past, when we did our chassis manufacturing, we never had a jig going into it. So the first time we actually manufactured our chassis, it took a really long time. And so going into this year, we wanted to say, well, we need to shorten that process because we need more time for assembly. We want more time for testing. So what we did is, well, let's go back to the drawing board and let's, you know, let's make a jig. Working with Hawkridge Systems, one day they mentioned something really interesting about additive manufacturing and the chassis manufacturing process. So the one that eventually led us to is uh, working with the multi-jet fusion with HP to be able to print some really high precision and some high heat tolerance parts. What we created were these supports, which could be cut so that it's precisely one inch in diameter, so they fit perfectly around our tubes. The multi-jet fusion worked so well that I could put the part on and then bring it up in the air and it snugly fit as if it was magnetic. We could have used something like sheet metal instead to hold the tubes in place, but that would have created a lot of warpage and a lot of inaccuracy. In the past, a two month uh, lead time for manufacturing our chassis and we did this year in about two and a half weeks. SOLIDWORKS for our team has been uh, the engineering go-to. We absolutely love it, and SOLIDWORKS has been uh, really good at helping us uh, understand where we're going before we even get there. I actually first learned CAD on Inventor. That was a little bit, it felt more like a simplified version. SOLIDWORKS to me has felt more detailed um, and better for industry use. You can be very specific with uh, when it comes to manufacturing. As engineers, you have so many things that you want to test and see how this works and see how this fits. And so you're constantly going back to the drawing board and thinking, well, how can I make this better? And with 3D printing, uh, that process just is a rinse and repeat cycle. It's really quick. And, and so it allows engineers to just become more efficient. We get to bring designs to the next level faster.